And what we're going to do today is, uh, it seems my last video on future value calculations got a little bit of uh, attention from Wall Street. And what the guys up there on Wall Street do is they are new guys in the, uh, they're new traders, stockbrokers, and they're studying for the FINRA and NASA exams just like me. And they had asked me to do future value video where they use a four function calculator for future value and not a scientific one like that. So we're going to square that away real quick um, because I know it matters and I know this stuff is hard enough if you're not a natural at math. Okay, so we're going to do this calculation on a four function future. What we're going to do is calculate the future value of an investment on a four function calculator instead of a scientific calculator. And we need to do that because this is what they're going to give you in the test. All right. And that's why I'm doing this because some of you guys out there, you need to help. And I get it. I'd appreciate the help too. If I, if I didn't know, I had to go out there and actually seek out a professor to get this done because I really didn't know what I was doing. So I went and knocked on professor's door, said, Hey, let me ask you a question, sir. Yeah, you seem like you're really good at math. And uh, he squirted me away, and uh, he was real nice about it, and I really appreciate it. I'm a new friend. Okay, so, so we're going to take PV, present value, equals 100, okay? And we're doing this deal at 6% at five years. Okay, so what we're going to do is going to take I equals, we're going to turn the 6% into a decimal, 0 0.06. We're going to take five years, put it as N for our formula, now we're ready to rock and roll. Now we're coming down here, we're gonna make the formula itself. PV equals 100 times parentheses number one, and put a plus sign 0 0.06, and fifth value to the fifth uh, power for five years. Makes sense? All right, good deal. Now we're going to break this down into order operations. And how we do that is PV equals 100X 1 plus 0 0.06. I do it on the calculator real quick. One plus 0 0.06 equals 1.06. Parentheses, fifth power. So this is where people get hung up right here. They don't understand what they're doing. Okay, this is, how do we calculate this right here? I'm going to straighten you out real quick. You're going to be doing this real fast because it's so super simple. So pay attention. This is good. So we're going to take 1.06 times... And this is to the first power, by the way. And now we're going to hit it. Second power. Third power. Fourth power. Fifth power. I hit this button four times for the fifth power. Which means, we'll do it again. 1.06 times. 1.06 is to the first power. Now we need to go to the second power, third power, fourth power, fifth power. And our number is right there. Amazing, isn't it? Okay, so we're gonna write that down. Okay, and the way we're gonna calculate this to actually to our formula down here, take it down one more to our answer, be right here times 100, which just moves the decimal place. Boom. Our final answer is 133.82558. And that's your final answer right there. And that's what you were looking for. And this is the future value of an investment on a four function calculator. I hope you got something out of this video that's uh, going to help you pass the FINRAS exams or NASA exams. I appreciate you. Please comment, like, subscribe, stay in touch with me, and I guess I'll see you later. And do read my blog.
Good stuff coming out. Thanks so much, everyone. Take care. Have a good one.